Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Get that bell notification on too, so you don't miss out on the next episode of Brockton County, an Ontario themed city. And make sure to hit the like button too. The like button helps with the channel a lot. Last episode, if you missed it, we flooded the market with industry goods. Um, well, we tried to at least. Uh, it's, there's still some problems. But um, we, uh, we added in a whole new ore production area. We added to our farming production, both uh, in Pearson, which is in the north of the city, and then also in our central, more industrial farm. Actually, I think that was right at the top of the screen there, actually. Um, we also added a whole new oil industry area with a new rail connection as well, because oil goods like plastic and petroleum were a very big issue in the city. So hopefully we'll give it some time. We'll let everything sort itself out for a couple episodes, and then maybe we can come back to it if things haven't really haven't really changed at all or anything like that so um well what are we what are we going to be doing in today's episode well we are going to be looking at transit and we're going to be looking at transit in the area this in the areas that we've been building up last week so in reynolds square shatner heights kind of area why does it always do these these plain intros <laughs> anyways hey that's a pretty nice shot of the city um yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today, looking at transit, and then we'll also be building a little bit as well, uh, out in the same area around Shatner Heights, and then in Friday's episode, we'll also be building out in West Beach, Shatner Heights kind of area, and then hopefully, maybe we'll have maybe one more building episode out over there, and then we'll look at a whole new avenue, and if you're wondering about uh, what the plans are, I, we discussed it a little bit last episode, um, but uh, next episode is actually episode 150, pretty big milestone honestly i i don't think we've had a series go that far i think new lancaster which is kind of the first series that i consider on the channel and i know that one went just over 100 i think yeah um there's a series before that but i didn't know what i was doing on youtube so <laughs> don't watch it don't go back <laughs> um so uh yeah so we started out doing one up one uh type of city called Springfield I think is what it was and then we did New Lancaster which is an East Coast Canadian themed city and then we did a Quebec themed city which uh, my computer had a meltdown while playing that and we had to scrap that uh, and then we started doing this city oh uh, sorry the Quebec themed city was called Riviere de Montaigne I actually really enjoyed that city I'm really sad that uh, it uh, didn't turn out maybe we can go back to something like that in the future uh, and then we did this city and we started our new city, Fort Prairie, which is the other series that we're also ongoing at the moment. Uh, and uh, we also, in the future, we'll be doing a British Columbia themed city. And that's all the plans I have set in stone. But obviously there's many other cool locations we can build a city in uh, with a Canadian theme. Oh, hey, here's our golf resort. That was a really fun build. I really enjoyed doing that. Uh, anyways, so let's, uh, let's hop out and let's take a look at what we're gonna be doing. Well, I think this kind of screenshot right here, click, is pretty much everywhere where we're going to be building today. We'll be building out over here uh, with a tram depot. Uh, I'll be, we'll be doing a bit of a rail revision right through here. Um, and then we'll be building uh, out in West Beach a little bit, the park. I, I think if we have time today, I'll try to get that to five stars as we extend it out over here into a bit of a residential. I think that's the only residential build we'll be doing today if we do it at all. It's just out right in this little pocket right here. And then we'll be doing trams. And this is the main goal of today's video, is the trams. So we did, we brought the trams into this area last time we were in Brockton County. So, uh, what is the plan? Well, there's been some nice discussion in the comments about some potential tram lines. So that's what we'll be doing. We'll be adding in some of those tram lines from the comments down below. Feel free to leave any suggestions. Anyways, it's been four and a half minutes, so let's let's dive into it. Uh, what are the tram lines currently? I think that's probably a good place to start. Oh. Uh, well, we have a tram line that runs from here. It's flashing. right into the Bathurst Community Park. And honestly, it was just kind of, wasn't the, the most well thought out tram line. That's the only tram line we have. 
We have another little tram line in the festival area, which I love. I think it's it was such a cool idea. How many people are using it nowadays? Let's uh, I'm sure it surges. You know, more people than I thought, to be honest. Um, I I have been thinking about getting a special tram for it, but um, uh, this week kind of got away from me, so I didn't end up uh, you know diving in and finding a, a good themed tram for this. I'm actually pre-recording this episode or this uh, this week's uh, episodes right after the last Brockton County episodes because I'm very busy the weekend coming up or the weekend that just passed. Yeah, for you. Uh, yeah, so this tram line is going to go right down into here. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to cut off this tram line right in here. We're going to leave this intersection open for cars. So in theory, I mean, it doesn't really look that way because our transit's so amazing in this city. People just want to use it. But this intersection would be gnarly. There's uh, lots of people coming out from this suburb out over here. This is a main avenue into another suburb. And then also the farm. It goes right down to the highway. This intersection is a major intersection. The intersection of Ontario Street and Florence Avenue. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring the trams across. And we're going to go under right here. And then what we'll do is we'll leave the, the tram bridge the way it is. So I like the idea of uh, tram cars going over here for now. But we're going to remove the portion of the tram line that goes out over into here. And we'll just bring it up and we'll bring it down Bathurst and West. Along Baker House. Hey, I believe that was a name suggestion from way back in the day. So let's start off with that. We can leave the game simming. Actually, no, let's pause the game. And let's go into the tram roads. That is not the tram roads. Tram. And we'll go for this one. The four lane road tram track with track. Uh, yeah. So the cars and trams share. So same one as right here. Then we'll also do that right here and here. And maybe one more. Yeah, let's turn collision off. Um, let's bring it even farther, actually. Okay, there we go. And then we'll go down to a one lane one. Just like that. Yep, that works. And then let's bring this one up farther. Let's let's think about this actually. I think I'll leave it for now. And let's uh, let's change up the way this road works now. So uh, we need a pretty big road. Let's go with a grass one. Yeah, that works. And then let's find our tram. That's the subway. There we go. Trams, trams. Let's turn them all off. And then we have the Shatner Heights line. Let's turn this one on so we can see it. Let's grab the stops. And yeah, I would like to grab. Okay, let's grab this one. And I'll plop it down right here. Okay, maybe we need to let it sim for a second or two. Cannot find path. What is the problem here? The tram lines are right there. Okay. Maybe we just need to wait it out a few seconds. Oh, it's because the stop. Okay, I see. Uh, okay, so we'll add a stop there. We'll add a stop in here. Right underneath the... Uh, it's a bit of an awkward stop. But um, I think we'll, we'll let it be. Um, and then we also should probably revise this road right here. Just like so. Let's just do a quick little traffic manager. All right, so it looks like one of the bus stops is also broken. So we'll try to fix that. OK, 
Okay, that's fine. So now uh, it's good that the tram line uh, goes over here, but we're not going to actually take this tram line over here. And why are we not doing that? Well, we have a metro right here, so we're going to get the tram to stop right in front of this. And if people want to go in this direction, they'll just have to take the metro. It's fine. Because wait, right now we're kind of sharing this connection point, which isn't the worst idea in the world because it is a tough connection point. But uh, I think I think it works. So this these uh, some of these suggestions were from JMWZ in the comment section. So thank you very much for that. Uh, and then let's drag this one. And I guess. It's a bit tight if we were to put it right here, but it makes a lot of sense to do that, though. Oh, we need to finish the, the loop, of course. Silly me, silly me. Tram. Okay, so let's think about this. Are we going to take it from Bathurst Station into Reynolds Station? I don't think so, because theoretically, if they wanted to go over there, they could just get off at the metro and take it down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this out all the way over into here. And for a temporary time, we're going to make this a tram loop. Maybe we could actually just temporarily make it uh, right in here. No, no, no. We'll do the whole, we'll do the big one. Uh, so we'll take this all the way through. And we'll bring it down right here. Probably good for uh, commuting for the seniors as well, which is good. Uh, all right, so now we have that in place temporarily. We can go back to the trams and we can drag these over. Oh, whoops. Should be on that side and then bring this one right in there. We'll watch all these people run across. Yeah, so the reason why I'm not going to change the bridge, though, is because uh, I like the idea of being able, you know, in theory, for the trams to be able to share. Uh, we're going to build a new tram depot out here momentarily. And we have another one all the way over in the municipal services area. So I like the idea of the trams being able to cross and not just being kind of landlocked. Um, so we'll leave that, uh, which is good. Okay, so let's uh, add in a couple more stops. We'll add in another one right in here along Baker House. And I'll leave. Let's make it turn right, actually. There we go, just temporarily. That stop's not going to stay. All right, so that line is good now. Um, now let's build the tram depot before uh, we get too far in the episode of just kind of tweaking the lines. So we're going to use this space right in here for a tram depot. Uh, why this this space? Well, I was thinking over here as well because we have the loop. That could actually be a good option. Um, but it kind of gives more purpose to this line right in here. Uh, so this is a buy, like a, a service line that we used to try to get people, or to get the trams into the festival area. Um, so right now, we exit out of this and we go into this view. Trams have to come all the way from the other side of the city, cross the tram bridge, take a right, like every now and then when the festival is going on, I'm sure the city would send the trams. And the trams would have to go all the way out over here and then they turn and they come all the way through here and then they turn and they go right through, through a tree apparently. Um, and then it goes right into the festival area like this and this is how we blocked off cars. So only trucks and required vehicles can, can use this road we have commercial buildings in here um so to give more purpose for this extensive infrastructure project i think it makes a lot of sense what the heck's going on very strange okay um to give more purpose to this extensive infrastructure project um i think what we should do is uh, so some of that is build uh, another secondary municipal services area out over here and it would kind of give more purpose to why they decided that they needed to so uh, in the future we're going to be building a suburb out this way so perhaps the suburb came first so that's a, a good way of kind of 
looking at that theme. Let's just check the node controller right really quickly. Okay, so that is a node and that's probably the crossing node. So we're good. All right, so let's figure this out. This is a highway, doesn't have to be. So let's upgrade it or downgrade it, however, however you perceive it, I guess, um, to one with a median. Like a non-concrete median. All right, and we'll go into here. Ah, darn. I was wondering what piece that was. Freaking everyone out. Or I guess it's asymmetrical, isn't it? It's been a while since I built one of these little, little things. Okay, so we go right into here. Okay, come on. There we go. Uh, and oh, I guess what we should do first is remove the crosswalk. And say go through. No crossing, please. So we'll just detail this really quickly. Um, just so we all know what's going on here. like that and this one goes here like that oh wait no never mind delete this one and this one okay we'll do that and then this goes right here like that with the solid line there we go and then we'll hold alt and we'll just do some fillers really quickly uh, I don't know. You know, we might actually be changing this really, like uh, in tomorrow's episode. So, Fri Friday's episode. I would say tomorrow. Um, so I don't really know why I'm doing this, but all right. At least now we know where we're going. Okay, and there's a light here. That holy cow. Just, just by upgrading, we really messed things up, didn't we? Okay, so, got that in place. Let's figure out an access point for this area. What's gonna be over in this area? Well, I don't know. Um, suburbs, if anything, I think would be, probably be, be uh, the correct statement, I guess. So let's uh, click home really quickly, and let's go right about here. That's, that's one node, let's give it two nodes. And we'll slide out. Hmm, actually, let's check the topography. It's all flat. Okay, so why don't we bring it a bit farther back then? So we'll slide this out to about here. And we'll follow the train line. Let's take our guidelines off. And we'll follow the train line. Like so. Alright, so let's grab the tram depot fantastic and uh, let's try to get it right about in here let's turn our guidelines back on yeah so if we place this down right over here that maybe hmm no let's uh, let's move it right about uh, right about here I think that gives us a nice some nice options remove these trees from this area okay so let's go with uh, some parking and I'm just gonna find our new parking assets uh, oh sorry it's five by three so we need a three in here I guess that's the only one that I have downloaded okay so we'll slide that right here like so we'll do one more Can we overlap it a little bit yeah, very nice. Okay, so we have some 
parking for the uh, the employees. And then what we can also do is we'll grab a industry road. And then right here, we'll come around the back side of this, just like so, and we'll fill in, whoa, this area with concrete. And this will be where like the garbages are because obviously the garbages are right here on the asset. Okay, so let's just finish up the detailing of this little area really quickly. So it looks like they're using this tree. So I think what we can do is we'll just flop it down right in the middle. Just like that. All right. Maybe what we can even do is grab both of these and just slide this over right like so, and then we can get a few more. All right. So now that we have this, we have the tram road. We're gonna go with the tram. I think we, I think we can probably use the, the shared tram road in this area. Hmm. Because what we could do I mean, it seems like I built it a bit far, far away, farther away than it needed to. I was hoping to get some more services in this area, so maybe we don't necessarily need this road then. Because, you know, I, I'm kind of thinking if we can make it just the tram only road, that's probably, probably best. So why don't I bring it to like that, and then we'll do that, so that it comes at a nice angle. And then the trams can easily turn here. So we'll square the node. And then I'll just pull this back. Pull this node. So it's a bit more realistic. But is that long enough for a tram? I don't know. So we'll just pull that over. And then we'll do this one. I'll pull this one forward a bit. Let's actually square this node. And I'll pull this forward. And there's trees in the way. There we go. Okay, so now we have... Uh, actual access uh, from this new tram depot. All right, and we're gonna miss just a little bit. Um, yeah. So I guess what we can do is we can bring this down still to about here. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's go with that industry road. There we go. sense okay so let's uh, add in some other municipal services in this area so let's go into the bus bus area and we got a bus depot so we're not going to do the bus depot over here but we could plop it down uh, right off of this yes yeah, so we can place this right about here so it's slightly askew and then we can get some trees behind it and then what we'll do is we'll get a nice big parking lot Let's just manipulate this a little bit more. Just until the glitchiness starts happening. Okay, let's grab both of these actually and let's pull it back. So it's about even. And then that also gives us just a bit more space too, doesn't it? Okay, it's, it's pretty glitchy. So uh, we'll just place this down and this will be for buses. And they can double park. Because they're pretty big, aren't they? All right. Um, and let's get a biofuel bus depot out over here as well. And this one, I think what we'll do is we'll have to get the biofuel bus depot off of this road or uh, behind it. Um, I wonder what's going to happen if we just connect it up with this. Let's turn collision off.
Yeah, and then maybe right off of this road here, I can run this down to connect up. Okay, let's not let's not do that, Steven. We're just gonna mess up everything else. We can just pave in the back here so that it looks like the dump trucks, the garbage trucks can, uh, not the dump trucks, the garbage trucks will be able to just plop down in here and then we'll get the biofuel bus depot right beside it. Whoops, clicked a bit too far there. Just here like that. Some city services. There we go. And let's get a road maintenance depot as well. Uh, there over here. Pretty big, eh? And this will be maybe some of the offices. Hmm. Place it right here. Yeah, how about we place it right over on this side? And we'll center this little rectangle right off of this road here. Fantastic. Okay, so maybe let's get a few more other types of services. So we got the taxi depot. Uh, the taxi depot can be, I mean, this would be a company. It wouldn't be part of the city. So maybe we can place this one down over here. And why don't we get two of them? All right. And uh, I mean, sightseeing bus depot. This is pretty cool, but it's just like a thousand dollars for nothing, so I'm not gonna not gonna do that. Um, you know, I, I don't really know if there's anything else that uh, needs to be over here. So we got some parking that we could do as well, but um, looks like we're probably good. Uh, how about one more parking lot? Oh, cool! This one's a bit different. Could do something like this. Uh, yeah, let's put it over here. Um, okay, and we'll just use the same trees that I'm using for this build. <laughs> Sometimes they're a bit silly, aren't they? All right, one more, and then we'll try to add in a few more. And uh, yeah, I didn't really know what else to, to put out over here. Um, usually I would just fill it up with um, some uh, some industry, but look at all the taxis going out. That's fantastic. But we can always add in some garbage. That is helpful, isn't it? Look at all the taxis. Holy moly, that's awesome. Yeah, I was thinking some industry out over here, but we don't really have the demand for it. So in the future, we have that possibility don't we? Alright. Fill all this up with some trees. Over here. Don't really know. Uh, could add some police things. Maybe it's like maybe a fire helicopter pretty close to the water. Yeah, why don't we do that? Okay, and then we'll go right back to the transit. So I'll move the taxi depots down here. And we'll leave the space for some industrial expansion. And then we'll go with uh, some helicopters down over here. Because we have the space and it's always good to have more fire helicopters, especially. And because people have told me about this amazing tip if we hold alt b with our new mod we can go to these trees turn the probability down to zero for each of them oh we have to do one at a time we do have to do one at a time okay ta-da there's no trees at the helicopter depots finally 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 <laughs> so after all the time of us waiting like why is there tra why why is this happening? This is so silly. Um, okay, we'll get another <laughs> uh, fire station. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's so silly that there was always 
trees and the fire and the, the, the fire helicopter depot. So yeah, glad that there isn't. So let's just add in a few more services out over here. And then we'll add in a healthcare facility as well. All right. And um, always gives us space to expand in the future. Okay, I'll just turn that off over here as well. All right, so another nice little municipal services area. What we can do is we can actually mark it off. That is a park. Oh, bit of an auto save. We can always just do this, and then we can add that in as a district. And then what we can do is we can just say it is a services area and uh, themes I mean I don't know policies uh, we can all do this once we actually start detailing it up so we got that in place fantastic uh, let's look at some of these trams so this is the new tram it looks like there's probably too many yeah it looks like there is so there's 17 so let's take it down to about 12 and I guess we might need them to turn around over here now so we might need to scrap scrap this so that they can turn down this way in the future um, and then over here let's just make sure that everything's a-okay with the lines it is okay so we're good we're good um, all right so it's gonna reposition here we did the one tram line then we took a break to do the service area uh, let's do the second tram line. So we have one tram line running right from here and then goes up. So the next tram line we're going to do is going to be from uh, West Beach and we're going to connect it over into Bathurst and Piers. This is going to be a nice little interesting uh, thing we're going to do. It's going to be quite fun. And then I think what we'll do is we'll take it from West Beach and then we'll take it up into Bathurst and Community Park. So it's going to revive, uh, uh, cost us some revision of some of this area which is going to be a nice change of pace as well so where we're we going to get the bridge connection from well i'm not going to delay any farther because i've already thought this through we're going to connect it up right from here into the science center we're going to treat the science center as almost like a bit of a destination and then uh, we'll run that line from uh, this area we'll connect it up so it'll come right through here and then uh maybe we can delete this path and uh, yeah, I think, I think we're gonna have to do a bit of change in here. Maybe we can, hmm. Why is there one line? Because uh, we might also wanna think about maybe just making this like a roundabout, uh, like a tram, a mini tram roundabout instead and having it connect on this side as well, instead of a teardrop. So uh, it would come down and then it would swing down and connect up and then they both meet here, both uh, waterfront lines. So uh, let's start with the bridge. So I'm gonna pause the game here. We're gonna delete the pedestrian connections over here. Uh, what is this? Is this, is this the, it's just a side gate? Okay. It's like, is this the main gate for the waterfront park? <laughs> delete it all the way back into here. And what we'll do is we'll go into the tram line, tram only, of course. I mean, no, I don't know. Let's not make it a real connection. Um, just the tram. Yeah, just the tram. Because right now, if you have to drive, all you have to do is go right up here and then down. So it's not like it's a huge detour. So let's turn our guidelines off really quickly. So we need to... I guess what I can do is go right beside... No, no, no. Let's just go right, right for it. That seems about right. And now let's go into bridge. Oh, let's get out of move it. Okay. Uh, bridge. All right. And uh, people can use this to walk along too, which is nice. So it'll even be an added connection 
We're just going to raise that up because of the spring floods. It's a very common thing that happens in Canada, obviously. Um, all right. That's pretty good. Yeah, right now in April. So I live in the Ottawa area in Canada. Uh, Ottawa is just surrounded by rivers. And we had a, a crazy amount of snowfall uh, this winter. And we also had a crazy amount of snowfall <laughs> this uh, uh, this spring. So uh, the rivers are uh, getting close to breaching the banks. Um, all right, tram. So I'm thinking I want a two way uh, I think I want to, yeah, so, hmm, we'll make it a, a tram roundabout almost in this area. So I only really want one lane. Okay, so this is two lane. I don't really, really mind like a shared lane, though. Uh, if we do it over here, if we do it on this side, it means cars will have, then have access to um, the right side of the road. But then the tram has to turn across, and that is an iffy area for accidents, isn't it? But, of course, as soon as I turn collision off... Um, yeah, I mean, that would... That, that could get iffy, wouldn't it? But, I mean, I don't really see another option. Because other, I mean, we could do this side first, and then the cars will have to turn. The cars will have to cross the train tracks. To get into the parking garage. And then it goes into the left lane, so that cars and the buses can drop things off. Hmm, I don't know. I don't think it really matters that much at the moment. Is there a better one? Because, uh... Hmm. A better one that I have unlocked. This one doesn't have parking. Okay, this is this is better. No parking. Yeah, at least now the trams kind of have to stay on that side. And then the tram operators will just have to watch for what's going on. Okay, so... Just do that. Let's pretend that, doesn't, that that doesn't exist. Clean that up. Okay. So we're over here. And now how are we going to do this? These are like level five condos. So unfortunately, I think we're going to have to delete some of them. So are we going to... We could turn down this road. No, I think we should go down one, one road in full. So let's go with this one. There we go. And then we'll come down right through here. And then we'll try to not delete us. Uh, we'll try to not delete as much as we can. All right. So what if I go into the tram road? The one tram road, one unit. Okay, and then what if I go into the roundabout builder? Hover over intersection, okay. So what if I just build it with dirt roads? And then we go back into the tram. Oh my god, we're running out of time. Okay, and then we do plus minus, right? That's too big. Okay, and then we'll delete all that. <laughs> it's invisible. Ah, okay, I see. I didn't actually use the right road. All right, so didn't actually couldn't actually get it as large as I was hoping for. So we'll have to just kind of wing it. We 
it all it should actually almost be almost be like an oval shouldn't it anyways so all right we're really messing it up now aren't we all right we'll just live with this for now and I'll clean it up uh, later on so I guess it needs an in and an out. Just like that. And then we'll go into uh, here and we'll delete all the squares that aren't being used. Okay, fantastic. And then let's go into the tram line here. That's buses. Oh, because I have all the tram lines invisible, of course. I forgot I did that right at the beginning of the episode. Add them all back in. Alrighty, so uh, back to trams. I think we're gonna need to make this as big as we can. Because on this side, it's gonna need to be as tight as it can. Because uh, trams aren't gonna fit in here. So it's almost gonna need to be a bit off centered. Pull this back. The trams need to fit in between each node pretty much. So this one here is where we'll have to stop for the waterfront tram line. And then over here, we'll need to pull this down. Because this is where the new tram line is going to go. And then it's going to make a sharp turn. And then it'll continue around the loop. Let's see if this works go back to the tram stations tram stops there we go so hopefully that fits we have a tram coming we do okay so now pretty much what's happening is um, if you're in West Beach you can now connect to the Queen Street subway line which is right here this this uh, this metro stop okay can you hurry up please tram come on let's see if you can actually make it Here we go. Oh, there's a, <laughs> there's a red light. Yeah, that's a pretty sharp turn. Hold on to your hats. And it doesn't know, it doesn't fit. That's okay. All right, we, we, we tried our best. So uh, that comes over here into here now. And what we'll do is we'll bring this one down on a one way and then we'll connect into a two way. And we'll bring it down into this area. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe the time. I thought we had so much more time. So I'm gonna really just push for the tram lines and we'll do everything else uh, in like all the rest of the building and we'll extend this tram line uh, farther uh, in the future in uh, on Friday's episode where we'll be building this area. Okay, so let's go with the... Oh my gosh, where is it? Right here four lane one why though Steven we don't need that this one nope not that one. Oh my gosh I'm wasting more time uh, so I need one way tram but I need a two-way road yes but it's not asymmetrical road, but that's okay. Okay, and I'll connect up. So we're doing the other side now. The 
There we go. And then we'll go back to this one, which is a shared tram. And I'll bring this all the way along the waterfront. All right, so um, I think temporarily we're gonna need to make a bit of a, a loop and we'll just use this one for now. So we'll, we'll get the, the trams actually rolling uh, and then we'll remove the bus lines and stuff. I'll, so right now we have a couple of bus lines uh, I think we're gonna need to revise them, but I won't have time today. So uh, let's get a stop right in here. This one's gonna go and we'll get a stop uh, right here. Can we stop over here? We can, nice. Okay, fantastic. So we kind of bypass this area, because otherwise if we stop right here, it would be a bit of a clog. So we stop right here and pedestrians can still get off for the subway or the metro. Uh, and then we'll slide right down into here. And we'll come all the way back everyone in here can just walk down to that area so it's totally fine and then we'll get another stop over here and then we're actually sliding all the way up and we'll get a stop right here and then we'll finish it uh, don't worry about the stop locations except for this area this area is exactly where uh, it should be but on this side we'll extend it all the way down I'll come all the way over here because we're gonna move the helicopter stop over to here and it'll come all the way down to the helicopter stop um, okay, so what other tram lines do we need to do, Stephen? Well, we're gonna build a tram line from this West Beach area up through here and into Reynolds Station. So we're gonna go back to our tram lines. And let's go with this one. I like this one because it's a dedicated tram uh, road and it's very convenient for situations um, where there's not a ton of traffic. So we'll bring it down this road here. And it looks like there was no zoning right there. And it looks like there was zoning right in here. And it was high density. Hopefully that doesn't get removed. Hopefully we fixed it. Hopefully they don't disappear. All right, so uh, we'll continue with that road bring it up and then we're gonna lose some of the trees in here we're gonna bring it up this hill trams can uh, can make that no problem uh, let's go really quickly and we'll turn off uh, let's make this road yield let's make it a full yield this one here same thing Alrighty, and I guess right here actually we can go back down to this road. Yes. Okay, so um, I'll play with the, the zoning that I messed up later. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go into this road, which is a larger road, and we share it with the trams. We'll also do that here, and we're going to continue using that, and now we connect up into the Shatner line, which we extended up this way. And we'll bring that right into there, and we'll go into tunnel mode, and we'll upgrade this. Hopefully that didn't do too much. So again, I will fix all the crazy issues. I'm gonna keep the game paused for the rest of the episode, right here. Actually, let's just do it right now, because I'm totally gonna to forget, aren't I? Yes, I would forget. <laughs> okay, so I will bring that over and we'll continue using this tram line. This is an elevated portion now. Fantastic, okay. And uh, we'll continue using it for right here. We'll go down to ground level. And then we're gonna turn. So I think we're gonna go right down to Reynolds Station here. Uh, and we're gonna go to a dedicated Tram road here. Okay, so the tram would then go over, all the way down through here. But uh, I want to get another connection uh, through into Bathurst and West. So we have our other tram line over here. So what I'm thinking is we're going to get 
a tram line. Well, and JMWZ, so thank you. So we're gonna get a tram line that goes from Reynolds Station that cuts through in this area, and then we'll bridge over into here. So I think I'll have to save that for the beginning of next episode because we are at limit. But I think we can upgrade some of these roads now. So I think we're gonna have to blast right through, maybe, maybe right here. No, it's a bit too close. We'll go right through here. We'll connect up. We'll create a tram intersection. Maybe, maybe we'll make it a, a full intersection. And we'll connect up right through here and we'll bring it all the way through. So we'll just upgrade this right now. And then right in here. And then we'll make this section uh, four. Um, and should this be also... No, so... Uh, let's get that tram line in. And, okay, so we're going to get a stop. Uh, sure, why not right in there? And then we're going to swing all the way over. Get a stop right here. It's a bit tricky to see, unfortunately, because I haven't split the tram line colors yet. Uh, and... Why not? We're going to stop right there. Uh, we'll get a stop up in here. And we'll swing over. We'll get a stop right here because that's going to be a transition zone. And can we get a stop on the bridge? Doesn't look like we can. It's a bit unfortunate because that'd be a great location. Uh, but we'll go right down into uh, Reynolds Station. Okay, and then we'll loop up and we'll get another stop, say up here. Oh, I guess I do need to bring it all the way down, don't I? Silly me. So we'll go with this one. Yeah, and we'll bring it all the way down. Like that, I think we're connecting right, we are. All right, so click to drag move stop, nice, we did. Bring another one down right there, and then I'll finish off this line. Uh, bring it over, stop right here. And I think, we, we're, I think we're probably good. Okay, so I'll change the colors off camera. Um, but uh, yeah, what did we do today? Well, we uh, added in a new connection down in here with the trams. Uh, hopefully they like this area now. Um, and also look at detailing that a little bit. So we got this area to be uh, tram friendly. We have uh, a tram running all the way down West Beach, which is going to be a key feature of tomorrow's episode, I guess. So in tomorrow's episode, we'll finish up at West Beach. And then we'll also um, look at getting that other tram connection up in here. Uh, we also built a municipal services area out over this way, which is sending out all the trams. So we're using our tram service road. But... Let's go right down into here for the uh, picture, maybe. Yeah, I don't really know where the picture is going to be because, yeah, why don't we do something like this? Yeah, there we go. All right. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon on Friday. Peace out.